Madonna, uh, like a virgin tour. Olivia and John from Greece. I'm pretty proud of my eggplant parmesan. It's pretty solid. The kids like it. Dine in. <laughs> I'm a I'm a homebody. <laughs> I'm really into like Silicon Valley and Barry. I really like that new show AP Bio on NBC. It's really excellent. I got my first nickname when I was doing uh, my first movie, White Squall, and Balthazar Getty gave me the nickname Phils, which has stuck with me ever since then. Hip hop, mostly. I listen to Rap Caviar playlists on Spotify when I'm working out most of the time. Give It To Me by Jay-Z and Pharrell. I really want to go to space before I die. Somehow. The Philadelphia Eagles. The, the world champion. Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. <laughs> Celine Dion. <laughs> and I still love Celine Dion. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas. But I was confused because I had a poster that had him on one side and Andrew Keegan on the other, and they would have days of the week. I would have to flip-flop between the two. Oh, gosh. Probably cereal. <laughs> no, no, for real, I make an amazing uh, carrot cake from scratch. I'm pretty adventurous. I, gone hang gliding, I've gone jumping out of planes. I, I like to do lots of things, but I want to swim with actually great whites. Bali, I could have stayed and never come home. I always say the Vikings because I was born in Minnesota, so they're always who I root for. After my first movie, after I moved to Hollywood, I bought a car cash off eBay. Wasn't anything fancy, but at least I had a car that worked. <laughs> Shanty Panty. Yeah, my dad gave it to me. It's not something I'm happy with. My go-to karaoke song is pour some sugar on me. <laughs> Embarrassing but true, yes. <laughs> Feed my cats. <laughs> and then think about going pee. <laughs> I would love it to be something very profound, but when you have cats meowing in your face, that's usually what happens. Yeah. <laughs> New kids on the block. I'm really thankful that my mother was willing to be around a bunch of shrieking, ear-splitting, screaming teenage girls. I am a travel junkie, so I have a lot of love for a lot of cities. I love going to New York, I love going to London. I have a few episodes of Atlanta waiting for me on my DVR. Beyonce. I need to just have like a taste of what that life is. Any variation on Cynthia, so like Synthesizer, Sin City, those are like kind of the two. Probably slow drivers. <laughs> I'm from Wayne's World. <laughs> it will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. If someone passed me a mic like right now, uh, maybe I'd do a little bit of like share or believe. I'm not gonna do it now though. <laughs> My favorite city in the world is New York City, not because I'm from there, but just because it's the greatest city in the world. My childhood nickname was just O. People still call me O now. The very first thing I do in the morning, I give thanks, and then I make a cup of tea. I prefer to dine in. I love a home cooked meal, but I don't do the cooking though. <laughs> first celebrity crush. You can't, there's no first for a boy. There's like 15. <laughs> I would trade places with Barack Obama for a day. That would just be really interesting to see the world through that lens. 
I listen to all different types of music. It just depends on whatever mood I'm in. I don't really have a go-to karaoke song because that's what's fun about it. I can feel it. Cause you can never really go wrong with that. I forgot the name of the song. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Omar because he's least talkative. Uh, I guess I could trust Ryan with a secret. I would trust Cynthia with all my secrets because she's one of my best friends. I would trust Ryan the most with a secret. I feel like he would keep it in the vault. I'm gonna go with Chantel on that. Chantel, definitely. Probably Chantel. <laughs> I'm guessing everyone else said me. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I gotta say me. I say Cynthia. I would take fashion advice from Chantel. <laughs> I've seen her closet. She's got a lot of great shoes and outfits, so that's that's who I would be going to. Lexi, who plays my daughter on the show because she's young and hip and kids are really honest. Easily Omar. Omar. 1,000% Omar. I know everyone else said Omar. Pretty sure they're all gonna say me, so yeah. Ryan, because I've seen all of his own stunts that he does on set, and he's pretty badass. I mean, come on. Ryan, hello. <laughs> Omar, because, yeah, because we train together, and I know he's tough, and if I was in a real fight, I, I, I'd, I'd want Omar with me. Everybody's got a different skill set, but I would definitely want the, the group of us to, to take something on as a, as a team. So today we captured stills for key art publicity and then we did some motion work for the on-air promos and packaging. We collaborated in as much as trying to decide the best ways to get that mood across that this season sort of has. Capturing the character versus the actor can be tricky sometimes because you have to get that person in a mindset of who they are, not their authentic self, but who you want them to be and who you want them to be portrayed as. I was actually giving him a sense of what my character is going through this year, the loss and the journey of discovery, and so we're trying to incorporate some of those themes. Little things that I can give them, little hints or kind of little directions or even a prop to hold, it kind of makes them feel more in character. Once you put the weapons in my hands, it kind of centers you in a lot of ways. To see it all come to life and be one campaign, it really is a nice payoff.